living a double standard life hypocrites because what you're doing to your own people is nothing but evil only a lunatic will do something out of out of this realm out of the logic out of the human elements well if you're not vaccinated don't expect your freedom to be given to you who do you think you are how dare you say something like that how dare you the prime minister comes out and says there is no mandate on vaccinations there is no law on a federal level that says you must be vaccinated it is not mandatory Ex listen this is a very cheap statement so you're happy gladys to say we're gonna achieve 70 percent by the 18th of october shame on you you know how you you're gonna achieve this because of your evil agendas you have forced thousands upon thousands of people unwillingly to take the vaccine to to, to sacrificing their life for their own children shame on such government and on such rules and shame on every church leader that is in support of such evil doing of such government you call yourselves christians are you a Christian, Mr. Prime Minister and Gladys? Who do you think you are government to impose on me how I should walk, how I should live, and where I can and cannot go? Who do you think you are? But it is a bigger shame on such church leaders to, to support such evil doings. People can't go and see the doctor. The doctor rings, you ring the doctor, they say, yes, have you got your jab? No. You go and go and you better go and do the test. And if you don't do the test, you're not coming. This guy is going to die. Hello? Anybody home? This person is going to die. Oh, so you are not providing the health system, Mr. Hazard. You are not giving the health system to the unvaccinated. Because you, Mr. Hazard, come from a universe, I'll call it the whoop whoop land. Because you speak so arrogantly, as if you own us. They should never be in power, neither liberal nor labor anymore. Australia, wake up. Australia, wake up. Never ever let neither liberal nor labor to exist if they do not come back and be sensible, responsible, and humans again. Vote for someone else. I pray to the Lord Jesus to bring someone that has a conscience. And you call yourself a democratic country? And China is better than you. Yes, it is my beloved country, Australia. I, I will always pray for my country. I love Australia. This government does not represent the true Aussies, does not, does not represent those brave men of Anzac who died to preserve and protect the human freedom. You need to rethink it very quickly, government. Stop doing this to your own people. Stop doing it. You've destroyed families. You've destroyed the livelihood of so many thousands and millions of people. You're worried about a coronavirus? <laughs> what a joke. You've left no life in people. What corona? Uh, it's 20 to 9. <laughs> we have a curfew, guys. <laughs> I, I, I thought nobody told me it was World War Three. Like curfews during World War I and II, I don't think they were that bad as now. So it looks like the virus doesn't come out after 9 p.m. Oh, looks, oh, what a program. This virus must be very smart. So after 9 p.m., no more virus. I need to stop. <laughs>